planet Earth, some of the strangest secrets are hidden in a very familiar place. The sky. The sky is the interaction of light from the sun 93 million miles away. It's clouds interacting with water and air. It's everything that we see above the horizon. The sky begins at your feet. We live in the sky. In 24 hours, a single turn of the planet, you can witness some of the strangest sights in the universe, if you know where to find them. We start the clock just as night falls, in the middle of a thunderstorm over North America's Great Plains. The lightning is bright, but it's a common occurrence, striking somewhere on Earth 50 times a second. The real mystery is what happens above the storm. Weird apparitions that for generations were dismissed as unreal. Fiji, 1950. An airline pilot is startled by a mysterious red flash above a storm cloud. He describes a burst of light like a firework display spreading out like a water fountain. Despite the pilot's rock-solid reputation, few believe his report. A pilot is a pilot. He operates the aircraft. They're not up there observing science. They're not up there observing the atmosphere. For decades, mountaineers, balloonists, and pilots had made similar reports of strange lights in the skies with the same results. Scientists probably just discounted it. They just didn't find it scientifically important enough to actually commit research to it. The sky flashes with the stuff of rumor until July 6th, 1989, during a ferocious storm over northern Minnesota, when a new, highly sensitive camera happened to be aimed above the clouds. Some scientists discovered uh, the first photographic evidence of what pilots had been observing for decades. A glowing creature in the sky, like a jellyfish six times the size of Mount Everest, that appears and vanishes in the blink of an eye. The photograph spurred a worldwide hunt for more of these creatures of the upper air. More were found. Some looked like carrots. Some like angels. But they were all red and up to 35 miles tall. And they all lasted less than a second. Scientists named the flashes sprites after the legendary fairies that appear and disappear without warning. Their briefness had made them hard to see and easy to brand as mere illusions. But it became clear that what was once thought of as empty sky was a realm of secret monsters brought to life by lightning. A sprite is an electrical discharge in the atmosphere during very vigorous lightning storms, but they're not like a lightning bolt. A regular lightning bolt flashes below the cloud. Sprites form 25 miles or more above the cloud. A searingly hot lightning bolt is white. A sprite is red. But the red sprite shares a surprising secret with traditional lightning. The hottest naturally occurring thing on Earth is formed in one of the planet's coldest places, inside a thundercloud, where it's as freezing as the Arctic, and water becomes crystal. The ice is the secret of lightning. The ice crystals that are hitting each other in a cloud become charged. The positively charged crystals tend to be lighter, so they're taken up with updrafts. And the negatively charged, heavier parts tend to be near the bottom of the cloud. So typically, the bottom of a cloud is negatively charged. The ground below is positively charged. An energy path is opened, and ice makes fire. Inside a thunderstorm, the temperatures are below freezing, but you have a spark that can be more than five times the temperature of the surface of the sun. 
But how does the force that makes lightning also create sprites? By turning a negative into a positive. Normally, positive charges gather on the top of a thundercloud and negative charges at the bottom. So most lightning bolts have a negative charge. But one time in 10, a positive bolt creates a negative electric field above the cloud. So the charge goes up, energizing nitrogen in the upper atmosphere, creating a red glow. But over 30 miles up, the air is too thin for the charge to hold together. It dissipates, forming strange shapes. But red sprites aren't the only strange sights above the thunderclouds. A blue jet, lightning from a cloud that goes up. Blazing out of the top of a thundercloud, blue jets shoot upward in narrow cones. In two-fifths of a second, a blue jet can stretch 10 miles into the sky. Impressive, but not compared to a gigantic jet. A gigantic jet is a blue jet on steroids. They're rare, occurring in very tall thunderstorms that are very strong. A gigantic jet can go all the way from the top of a cloud to the base of the ionosphere, which is 60, 70 miles up. Big as they are, jets and sprites are small compared to elves. Elves are triggered when an especially powerful burst of lightning creates an electromagnetic pulse that rockets up more than 60 miles, causing gases to glow at the very edge of space. Elves move at almost the speed of light, ballooning out from nothing to a disk 300 miles across in a thousand of a second. They weren't discovered until 1990, after researchers examined films of thunderstorms taken from the space shuttle. Elves, sprites, and jets have shown that Earth's skies are far stranger than scientists once imagined. As the thunderstorms fade and the night deepens, another strange vision appears in the skies. Believe it or not, this city on the horizon isn't really there. 